Hey, this is James. Welcome back to another AkiCAD tip. The last few weeks I showed some videos about the stair tool. So following on kind of the same theme, uh, this week I'm going to show you about the railing tool a little bit. So I'm going to create a short railing here just with the default settings. Okay, so let's have a look at this in 3D. So here, just got uh, out of the box uh, settings. So let's have a look at some of the details about this. For example, how this segment uh, structure is organized. So you can see here that it's um, a fixed length, fixed length, fixed length, and then uh, it adds a little bit at the end. So a little bit like the curtain wall. So if I open up the settings, I'll go to my segment settings here. Then, uh, so here's the preview, and we'll go through this in a little bit. But here under the segment pattern settings, currently it's a fixed pattern length, which is currently set to one meter uh, as a length. Uh, this one meter is defined under the inner post because the inner post is set at one meter from the start. So this is defining. So if I modify this to say 1200 and go back to my segment length, then this is now showing 1200. So if I click OK, then those inner posts will move at a 1200 uh, interval. But if I want to distribute this over the length of the railing, if I open up the settings again, so here I can just set to uh, equally distribute with a maximum length of a meter. So if I say uh, OK for that, then it will equally distribute this so it doesn't go beyond one meter uh, between these uh, posts. So if I go to the settings again and go to my inner post, then this setting is then no longer used because it's being overridden by the segment uh, settings. So let's have a look at then the other option. So here I can divide this into multiple segments. So let's just say uh, at one for now. So here, there is actually no inner post because it's uh, being distributed over one segment or between post to post or node to node. So if I open up again, then change this to say to three and go OK, then it equally divides this into three pieces. So I open up the settings and therefore this inner post, uh, this setting is therefore not being used. So it's always worth checking what the segment uh, pattern is doing uh, in case you're trying to edit this and it's not uh, moving as you would expect. So that's the kind of position of the inner post. So let's have a look at the next setting. So I'm gonna go to a fixed pattern length. And with this, I can say, I don't wanna start from the beginning or the start of the, the overall railing. I can start it from the center if I click OK, then the two ends will have equal. So it will start at the pattern in the middle and then be 1.2 and 1.2. So this is, yeah, 1.2 is what my setting was between the inner posts. So this is how we can position the inner posts relative to the segment pattern itself. So what I'm gonna do is uh, keep it kind of at a equally distribute so it'll be uh, not go above one meter as set here. And let's have a look at this preview. So if I go between the different components, you'll notice that uh, the components highlight. So there is a top rail and because it's selected in green, then my settings below show me the settings for that selected element. I can also click directly in the preview itself and it will highlight. If I click on rail, so there's a rail here and for example, if I click panel, I don't see any selection here. So if I modify the settings below, this will only affect the default settings for the panel. So I would have to add a panel from up here. But because there are uh, balustrades here, or balusters, uh, I'm not able to add a panel because we can't have balusters and panels within the same space. So what I can actually do is click on my rail here and I'm actually going to add a new rail. So I'm in rail and I'm gonna hit add and I'm gonna click somewhere in the middle 
to add a new rail uh, about halfway point. So I can see it automatically put this at 493. So I'm going to modify this to 500, so it's an exact number. And now I've got my balusters in two pieces. So I can select the balusters at the top separately and modify their settings separately to the ones at the bottom. So I'm going to remove the ones at the bottom, just by minus. And now I'm going to go to my panel and I'm going to go plus and then click inside that space. So now I've got a panel here. Uh, I'm just going to, for the simplicity of this, I'm going to just turn off the fixings just so it has less detail. So I have a panel at the bottom and I have balusters at the top. So let's have a quick look at uh, how this kind of modifies the appearance. So I'm going to go OK. So now I've got the panels here and the balusters uh, up here. So I want to modify a little bit of the settings of the panel so there's not a bigger gap uh, around it. Uh, I turn the fixings off so this is why it's kind of floating. So here when I select the panel then I get uh, offset and offsets from the side so left, uh, right and top and bottom. So if I reduce these to say zero so here it's relative to which rail and if I click OK, then this, these uh, panels fill in this space. So if I do go into edit mode, I can select the panel. And you'll notice that the panels are actually going to the center line of the rails. So if I select any of these components, I will see kind of where their center line is or where they're being constructed from. So for an inner post, it's at the center. For the rails, it's going to be uh, at the center as well. But for the top rail, uh, it will actually be from the top of the rail because generally you need the height at the top of it rather than from the center of it. So just keep that, uh, that in mind. So I'm just going to uh, exit. And let's have a quick look at these settings again. So if I select the balusters and I want to change the spacing of these, uh, it's worth noting I can actually add multiple balusters, but maybe I'll do this in a different video. And currently the baluster pattern is equally distributed the pattern length to a maximum of 100. So if I go into the baluster settings here, there is also 100. So if I modify this one to say 200 then this value here is not being used so now they're uh, not going above 200 but if i try and modifying this number to say 50 then you'll notice that it doesn't have any effect so similar to the inner post uh, distance and the segment distance uh, the baluster pattern and the actual baluster setting uh, also need to be checked uh, between them. And you can see here, just like the panel here, uh, we can also do offsets from the left, right, or top and bottom. Uh, I'll go through this in more detail in an upcoming video. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of a taste about how to select and how to add components within the railing segment. Okay, thank you.